you already got. I think one thing that really changed this whole thing this week, though, was Bob Woodward. Uh, he is not known as a conservative. And he, of course, had written in his most recent book that this sequester idea was all the president's and his administration. Uh, that initially started this discussion, but it wasn't really covered that much. Well, now Woodward himself has come out and been very critical of the administration and the way that they have handled this. And right. he's faced a lot of blowback from the administration. He says he was yelled at by a senior level person within the administration for 30 minutes. And then it came to the point where he actually thought he was threatened. You said you're focusing on a few specific trees that gives a very wrong impression of the forest. But perhaps we will just not see eye to eye here. He says, you know, says, I think you will regret staking out that claim. So well, that, that was that was the Gene Sperling we now know that told him and offered the threat. And just to friends to put this together, Bob Woodward, when he saw that the sequester was being blamed on Congress, he went back and checked his notes, and I imagine a recording and but for his book, and he said, wait a second, it was the president that did that, and it was the president's idea, Jack Lew's idea, the White House came up with this idea, and number two, uh, the White House also said you, you, this is all about spending cuts, it was not about revenues, so they moved the goalpost. So Saturday, so Friday, he's going to write this column, and he called the White House and said, listen, I'm writing this column, and he got screamed at for 30 minutes, yep. at which time he wrote the column, and it comes out, and then he finds out later that he has somewhat been threatened, but then, are they so, are they that... Uh, are they that confident in the White House that Bob Woodward's not writing this down and will not hop behind a, uh, in front of a You're television there, and uh, say, I they, I gotta be kidding. This White House is one of the most thin-skinned White Houses ever, and that's why, you know, they're getting some blowback because, wait a minute, this is Bob Woodward. Bob Woodward is one of the lions of journalism. He doesn't make stuff right. up. If he says that the White House has uh, moved the goalpost, they've moved the goalpost. this is deeper, I think, than thin-skinned, to continue the analogy. This is a lot deeper than just being thin-skinned. This is now Bob Woodward on a rampage. I mean, he, he's continued on saying, you know, Ronald Reagan wouldn't have done these kind of threats and creating Armageddon like President Obama has this particular week. He said George Bush would not have done that. Uh, it's very interesting. Right. I think this has changed the entire That's, equation. So David Pluff said, tweeted this out. Listen to this. Watching Woodward the last two days is like imagining my idol, Mike Schmidt, a third baseman for the Phillies, facing live pitching again. Perfection gains once is rarely repeated. They're saying he's washed up and crazy. You know, That's what he's saying. They are crazy. There's more to this. Stand by. In the meantime, 13 minutes after the top.